Hey guys, how's it going? It's Cody Orgel coming to you guys with a video today. I've just woken up. Uh, I camped in my four-wheel drive last night, having a bit of breakfast here in the front seat. I thought I would probably start filming what I'm up to this week. Uh, I've decided to leave society for a while uh, and I've parked out the front of a trail which then leads into a hut. I've never been here before and I don't know what to expect. The hut seems a little run down from pictures and it only has about like one review on Google which means that hopefully it's a lesser known and a lesser traveled to hut and hopefully I don't come across anyone because I kind of want to use this as an experience to I guess get away from society just get back to nature the simplicity of life and also I brought some notepads and pens so I can jot down any thoughts I have and I'm gonna use it as a time to have no technology except for the camera that I'm holding I guess essentially no phones and I brought a, a few books as well to read. In the back I've got stocked up a heap of food that I'm going to be sorting through. I also use it as a good opportunity to go through my cupboard and my fridge at home and get rid of all of bits of food that I had laying around and put it all together in my fridge in the back there and just see what we can create. The thing is though guys that the hut is like three and a half k's from where the car's parked right now. So I've parked the car here on the side of the road and I'm on this gravel road, as you can see here, and just up over here, so there's like a little road here, just up here there's a gate. You can't get past there with the car, so that means that um, I'm gonna have to pack my day pack with lunch and stuff and I'm gonna just plan to hike out to this hut, suss it out for a bit, maybe have lunch there, maybe get a little bit situated, see what the, the gist is there with the hut. I'm actually really excited because I've always dreamt of like owning some land, you know, off-grid land, just away from everything in nature with a nice stream and build my own mountain bike track and all that good stuff. And also have a nice little, small little hut there as well, which would be great. Um, so I'm gonna use this as an experience to sort of see if that, that, that uh, dream lifestyle that I have created in my mind is something that would tickle me fancy. So I'm gonna experiment with that. Hopefully I could use it as an opportunity to learn a bit more about myself and what I want to do in future with my life as well and all that good stuff. So, well, that's the introduction. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens, eh guys? So guys, we made it to the hut. That is it right there behind me. It's a bit of a hike in to get in here actually, but now that I'm in here, um, kinda, it's a nice little quiet spot. Just completely surrounded by just bloody forest everywhere. It's beautiful. I do have one little issue. <laughs> the hut says no entry, because I think it's closed because it has damage. As you guys can see, uh, it's a little lopsided. But, we're not going to let that stop us. Um, it is a bit messy and run down inside. So I think what I'm going to do, it's a bit of a duck to get in here. I want to clean it up, make it nice and clean looking. Um, and get that fireplace cleaned out so we can have a nice fire tonight. A couple of uh, poems there which are beautiful. Talking about how they wanted to escape the city life. And come out here and live in a hut. That's exactly why I wanted to come out here. I wanted to get away from society for a bit. I don't know if you guys feel the same, if you've had a bit of issues with the COVID and stuff and having to be in lockdown for so long. We just recently got out of lockdown in Victoria, so I guess for the mental health and keeping the sanity in check and all that, I just thought doing something like this would be pretty cool just to get that refresh, you know, and get out of nature and just lose sense of who you are, lose sense of self and just become connected, become one with everything. I'm actually really excited. You know, instead of just rushing life and being busy all the time, I just want to take some time to just, just take things slowly and just appreciate the small things. Really notice even just the beautiful birds. There was a bloody amazing yellow bird that was just walking through the scrub just before and just hearing the, the wind and, and appreciating the sunshine and just the little things, you know, guys. And I've got a bloody good task here today to clean up this hut. I think that's going to be my task. I became sick and tired of the city and feeling in need of a change. I decided to roll up my blanket and go back to my home on the range. So I got out my gear and my saddle and I threw off my new city clothes. 
I put on my battered old backpacks. Then I gave my old pony his nose. For three days we headed out eastward, and it seemed that I could hardly wait till we rode up that little green valley and pressed on past the old stockyard gate. We came up the rise just on evening, but alas what a heartache was there, for the old bunkhouse was deserted and the old coral it was bare. broken down yards where we mustered, the rusted old pail by the tree, the remains of an axe in the corner, they all tell a story to me. I stood there alone in the moonlight and brushed back a tear as I saw the name of my old bunkhouse buddies carved on the old bunkhouse door. I remember the long summer's evenings, the smell of the old chap's cigar, as we sat round the campfires as singing while I played on this same old guitar. Oh, where are my old bunkhouse buddies? Their names bring me back memories. I wonder what ranges they're riding, and I wonder, are they lonely like me?
Don't know how I'm going to stir this. <laughs>
So a bit of an update I guess guys, I spent the night here, bit of a rough sleep last night. That um, bed isn't the most comfortable, um, I think I'm a little bit sore from carrying like, I would like to say 20 kilos worth of gear, three and a half kilometers off some rough single track out to this hut from yesterday. My back's pretty sore from all of that. It's nice just to sit here with the fire in the morning, did a bit of a meditation and just being present and just hearing the noises in the now, just hearing the crackling of the fire. Pretty windy today so you're hearing the wind and let's hope no trees fall down today. And then the birds chirping, just the simple things in life guys. I don't know, it's just, ah. Oh. It's just something to adore. I'm having a great time out here and I'm planning to do more of this. There's like a heap of huts around Victoria. If you guys are interested in checking out any of the huts, check out uh, Victoria Huts Association, I think it's what's called, or just look up uh, High Country Huts or Victoria Huts and they have a whole list of them. I don't know how many there is, but I'm pretty sure there's a damn few. And I've just had this idea that I want to visit all of them, obviously starting here at Jan Stag's hut. That would be epic. But anyway, thanks for coming along for the adventure, guys. I made it back to the car. Oh, that was really rejuvenating. Uh, it got to a point there where I was bloody talking to myself because I, hadn't, I haven't been in contact with any human being for over 48 hours now. I uh, hope to to come back to another hut maybe sometime and do even like a week long or even a two week long hiatus like this. See how we go. I feel very rejuvenated though, so that's a real good positive. I'm kind of glad I'm back. Get access to the fridge. I've got some nice cold drinks in there, so I can't wait to get into those. Thank you for watching the video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to do some more adventures like this in future. So thanks again for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Drop any of your comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And make sure you subscribe for more adventures. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.